Uh, you know, I love checking my emails on a Friday afternoon and finding out that Imprint has a whole bunch of new releases. This is probably the first time I'm actually individually talking about what on for pre-order for October, but I'm really excited about it, and I don't really talk about this kind of stuff like you have, like, you know, US uh, YouTubers and UK YouTubers talking about, like, Criterion's new batch and all this and that. Well, guess what? I'm talking about Imprint. Also because I've been wanting to talk about this for about a month now, because I've known about one of these releases. I know about some stuff that comes out probably in November, but I, I can't talk about that for legal reasons. So anyway, let's talk about the stuff that I can talk about. So, so of course you have the whole pre-order bunch, which comes with the 4K of Suspiria from, was it 2018? The uh, Luca Guadagnino film. You've got the Blair Witch Project 2-pack, which comes with the first and second film. Uh, you get the Antichrist, you get Superstition, Death Valley, and a Roman Polanski collection. So, of course, Suspiria. This is the one that I've known about for a while and I've been really excited for because, of course, they're finally diving into 4K UHD, which is exceptional. Like, I'm very excited to see what they do for this, especially because I love this film. And the Blu-ray I have is already a standard Australian Blu-ray. It's fine. But this already comes with a three-disc hard case set, you know, uh, what else do you get? You know, you get a 4K HDR 10 presentation of the film with a new audio commentary with Dolby Atmos, you know, DTS 5.1, 2.0 stereo as well. The Blu-ray disc is the 1080p presentation with the same commentary track. Basically, the first two discs are the same. The only difference is one's 4K, one's Blu-ray. It's interesting that it says 1080p high-definition presentation, but not, like, the 4K master on, this, on the Blu-ray disc. I imagine it is the 4K master, but it might just be the original Blu-ray, just, you know, recycled kind of deal, which is perfectly fine. And of course, Disc 3 is all the special features with video essay, you get an interview, you get a, I guess, another video essay talk by Alexandra Helen Nicholas talking about uh, all three films. Suspiria's three fathers, Argento, Fastbinder, and Guadagnino. That'll be interesting. Um, mostly because I don't know what she's referring to in terms of Fastbinder, but, uh, yeah, obviously I know Argento and Guadagnino's version, so I guess we'll see what happens there. And then, of course, Tom York's Spells the Music of Suspiria, which is a uh, video essay by film writer Philip Jeffries, who apparently is on the Imprint Film Group, which I'm uh, excited about. It's always great to see Australian talent, you know, perpetuated in, in, in their commentaries and video essays, much like Alexander Herbert Nicholas um, and so forth. And, of course, then you get, I imagine, archival stuff, including the making of... Uh, the Secret Language of Dance, the look, Transformation of Suspiria feature, and interviews. So it's nice that they're still getting all the old stuff and putting it in this, just so you, you don't have to have the old version anymore, which is wonderful. Uh, I'm hoping it's all regions, uh, just in case people want to, you know, import from, export from Australia. <laughs> if other people in other countries want the 4K disc, here's, you know, this might be the best option to go for. Then, of course, you've got the Blair Witch Project, which... The only new details is that the first film comes with an audio commentary, but the second film does come with two new interviews as well as more special features to be confirmed. Uh, none of this seems to be an alternate version of the second film, which I believe I already have, but it was like a fan cut. Um, it also depends on like legal rights if they're allowed to, you know, do that for the film. But it's pretty cool that they've got both films. And, uh, weird that they don't have the... Just Blair Witch film, what was it, the 2016, that film? I've already got it, which, in a two-pack with the original film, so I don't really care. But it'll be interesting to watch Book of Shadows, and obviously, you know, I really like the original film, so I can't go wrong there. Then you get Antichrist, the Antichrist, which is interesting because I've got the Kino Lorber version, which I believe is already the 4K scan that I believe that they're using here as it is. It does say new 4K restoration by Stu Canal, so so my Kino version already has that 4K restoration. Uh, this benefits from having a new audio commentary by Cat Ellinger, as well as an interview of one of the actors and a video essay, um, and another video essay. So two new video essays. The rest of it is all stuff that already exists. One is um, the audio collections of Alberto Di Martino, interview conducted and recorded by Eugenio Ocolani from Rome, Italy, 2012. So that might be pretty new as well. Because at least in comparison to my current Kino version, because I know that there was a new 4K UHD of this coming out, this does come with 
Raising Hell, which the, uh, ooh, interesting, the, um, Oh, it does have Raising Hell. It's just called The Antichrist Raising Hell on the imprint version, uh, which, is, of course, is an interview. Then you got the audio commentary by film historian uh, Lee Gambin as well as film critic Sally Christie, which is on the imprint version as well. I like that it's on both. It's always great when they port them over because um, it's good commentary, you know, by by good historians and critics. I, I really I really like that about it. The only extra thing that this has is a TV spot, the Tempter opening credits and the mono tracks, uh, the you know, Italian and English audio tracks. So the new one definitely has a lot more going for it as well as some great artwork. So I'm very excited for that. I don't know if I'll get it in the end, but um, you know, I guess I should actually watch the film <laughs> first before I make my decision. Because currently I'm in the kind of boat of, do I want to pre-order all of this stuff? Which I've never done before in terms of buying like everything from a month set. Uh, but the next film is Superstition, which is from an 80s slasher of a supernatural twist. That's always a good thing. What do we have? I don't actually know what year it came out, which is uh, interesting that it doesn't stipulate. Nevertheless, you get a new audio commentary. You get Season of the Witch Supernatural Slashes, which is a video essay by author and editor-in-chief of Diabolic Magazine at Cat Ellinger. Uh, Lake of Fire interview, the crazy witchcraft interview as well. So, you know, two interviews, a video essay, and a commentary. That sounds good, and I like me some, um, you know, 80s slashes with a supernatural twist. So that sounds like a good, definitely one that I'll want to get. Then there's Death Valley, which I think Josh had told me about as well, but I don't recall the film because I haven't seen every single 80s slasher film because there's a lot of goddamn 80s slasher films. So it does come with an audio commentary by the director as well as a video essay by Jared Kahan and an interview with the composer. So not a lot, but a decent amount. Like that'll, I mean, I'll be down to buy it anyway. The artwork looks really nice. And again, I like my 80s slashes, so I can't go wrong. Uh, then I think this is last but not least is the big directed by Roman Polanski set. I think this is the one that I'm up in the air about as well as uh, Antichrist because again I already have Antichrist but you know some more special features, some great artwork. I do always love when imprint you know goes you know out of the way to put in something extra even though they're competing with Kino Lorber in the US who have that um, you know 4K UHD coming along. Which is curious because if it's from a Studio Canal scan, where's Studio Canal's version? They must they must have done a version. They must have. Anyway, you get a five disc limited edition Blu-ray set with new special features. Infamous director Roman Polanski directed these three thrilling films. That's a real tongue twister uh, of seduction, betrayal, and revenge. Bitter Moon from 1992 with Hugh Grant. Um, Death and the Maiden from 94 with Sigourney Weaver. And the Ninth Gate, that's the one he was telling me about, the Ninth Gate, because he had told me about this set as well. So that's going to be really interesting. It is a five-disc set, so four movies and a, what's the other thing? It includes a bonus disc with 2008 feature-length documentary, Roman Polanski, Wanted and Desired, plus an exclusive booklet with essays from film critics um, Sean Burns, Lindsay Romaine, and filmmaker Scott Tafoya. So, you know, disc one, which is Bitter Moon, you get an audio commentary and an interview. Uh, disc two, you get an interview with uh, the author of Death and the Maiden, as well as more special features to be confirmed and previously unseen behind the scenes footage. And disc three and four is the ninth gate with a new audio commentary. Uh, two new audio commentaries, in fact. Uh, a video essay by Sally Christie. God damn it, I might actually have to buy this set. Now I like Sally Christie. She's a friend of the channel. Um, or at least a friend of me. I don't think she gives... I don't think she watches the channel, but that doesn't really matter. Um, and, of course, the audio commentary from Polanski, as well as uh, a new interview uh, with some of the actors, and one with an occult author as well. So, you know, and two more new interviews, and... Uh, Lucifer's version slideshow of the book's illustrations with commentary by David Huckvale, as well as an in-conversation and promotional stuff and storyboards and whatnot. And disc five is the documentary with its own special features, nothing branded as new. Yeah, it's an interesting set, mostly because it really depends if you actually like Polanski. <laughs> um, I think I've only seen two of his films, and obviously one of them is Rosemary's Baby, uh, which only really feels appropriate to kind of watch 
stuff like that before the events of what took place, you know, it's obviously a do you want to do an art from artist kind of thing, because you could easily make that argument with someone like, you know, Woody Allen and whatever, so that's obviously an up to taste kind of measure, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I'll keep it in mind, obviously it depends on how much this whole entire bundle costs when it comes to pre-ordering. I'm very curious, so I'm going to look that up now, because, again, the only ones I'm debating on is the Polanski set and Antichrist, because I've already got Antichrist. The set's $140 for the Polanski set, that's, that's crazy. It doesn't surprise me too much, because there is a lot to it, oh my god. How much is the whole bundle? How many hundreds of dollars am I going to have to spend for this whole bundle? $380. Hmm. Well, I mean, everything else outside of... Holy shit, okay. Uh, Suspiria is 110 Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, these, these are the on-sale AUD prices. So 110 down from 120 And Blair Witch is $70. Um, the rest are all 35 and $140 for directed by Roman Polanski, so hence $380 for the whole set. That's tricky. Um, <laughs> hmm. It's not really making me reconsider buying it, because I definitely still want Suspiria and all the rest. The Blair Witch Project makes me really wonder do I actually want to get it now that it's such a high price, but at the same time, you know... I think it all comes down to, do I want to get Antichrist and do I want to get the director by Roman Polanski? But we'll see how that goes by the time of October, which will probably actually be November. It's always a, in the theme of horror, they actually had a theme of horror for September as well, so that stuff will be out by October, whereas the stuff for October will be out by November. So, it's an interesting collection of films. Um, and again, I'm very excited for Suspiria, so I'm more than likely going to get that anyway. Uh... And the slashes sound interesting, the Polanski set is an up and down, and Antichrist, again, up and down, because I've already got the film. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, we'll find out in a couple of months if I actually buy the whole thing, or if I just buy the ones I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, but yes, Josh did tell me about these films <laughs> beforehand, and I was really excited for Suspiria, and I'm like, I can't tell anyone about that, I can't make a video, because I have to wait till they're officially announced. Hence why I'm talking about it now, because it's officially been announced as of today that I'm filming. Um, I will not mention the stuff that comes out probably in November, because I can't talk about it. Anyway, uh, really excited to see these films in the flesh. Um, and yeah. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out my imprint Blu-ray reviews that I've done previously, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.